Logic Studio. This is Cameron and we will be making multiple screens today in Filmora X. So it's a little long tutorial, but it's very easy. So uh, just watch it until end and you will learn a very great thing today. So let's go to the screen. Let's go. Hello guys. Welcome back. So what we have to do is we uh, I have imported those clips uh, from my media file. So that's how you can import your clips or you can drag it here on the software in, in Filmora. And now I will put them here on my timeline one by one and I have to detach its audio. So just be with me and let's do it uh, one by one. Uh, so I have to add uh, some video tracks here, more video tracks so that uh, we can put all the clips here. But just keep in mind, this will make the video very heavy. So you should have uh, at least a good uh, GPU or a graphic card in your laptop or system, whatever you are using. So, and we have to add all the clips. So mm, let's add those last ones too, so that we can just make it clear and to now the second step what we have to do is detach their audios because we don't want their audios here to be displayed so when you click here you right click anywhere on the timeline on, on this clip and click detach audio so detach audio Basically, it takes the audio down. You see, here, it's down now. So you select this one and press delete. So the first clip's audio is gone. Now we'll click the second clip and right click and again, detach audio. So it's, it's still loading. You can see it's taking too long now. So go down and detach the detached audio you just delete it because we don't want the audio here so I will just detach the audios of all those clips one by one that's what I'm doing right now so stay with me and uh, Oops. So the audio is here. And click and just deleting the audios and select the audio and delete it. detach audio and delete it click it and delete it but the audio only don't delete the original file so just reduce the timeline a little bit so that you can uh, just I think this one is missing so detach audio and just select the audio file and delete it so we'll just make it up to, uh, I mean, uh, I think up to 40 seconds for now. And uh, let's, uh, we will just squeeze those, uh, I have just squeezed the timeline and we will bring all the clips together up to 40 seconds. Because we have to reduce it, uh, because we will just use it as a kind of animation or as an effect to give a multiple screen effect. So you will just reduce the size in the step, in the third step. And uh, now, okay. So again, I will increase the length of the timeline so that we can see that what we are doing and how we are doing it. 
All right, so now here the task begins. Like uh, we have to just adjust them accordingly, uh, uh, the screen adjustment, that how we have to allocate those clips. So just uh, choose any one of them. And you can, uh, in the meantime, you can lock the other clips <clears throat> so that they don't get touched or they don't get disturbed when you are working on the screen lock them don't forget to lock them this is all locked and that's how it looks like when they are locked so select this one and this is the first clip it's selected and as you see i have as soon as i cl uh, click here select so there's a there's a uh, those uh, crop uh, icons comes here or crop signs come here so you can just uh, press shift from your keyboard and just make it up a good screen now you can see the the, the below clips are or the beneath one are still visible so we will uh, work on it now you just lock this one and unlock this one select this one and make an equal size around here the same size and just drag it to the second portion to the second uh, place where you, wherever you want to place it lock this one unlock the third one select select it and make another size of the same proportion and drag it on the third it's little uh, little it's gone down by the way uh, it should not be uh, the size should be equal but you can make your own sizes there is no restriction so select this one and just drag it by pressing the shift button from your keyboard and make try to make an equal size exact size and just drag it here a little bit here and just make it down so that we can so uh, that's how we're gonna just decrease the sizes or make it correct and uh, just try to make an equal sizes uh, just log this one unlock the next one and uh, <clears throat> just try to adjust it so we have to decrease the sizes basically again we have to justify it because uh, otherwise people won't be able to see it so Should be smaller sizes or this much I believe so and that's how Let's find the video we have it's so far. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will need one more. So, and let's count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we want one more video. So we will import here. Uh, which one was that? Mm. Oh yes, this is Dr. Furias. One. We'll put this one here. 
and detach audio don't forget the detach audio and you see my filmora has gone too slow because the video uh, is if putting multiple long videos on the screen it takes all the GPU power you can see my filmora is not responding now right so detach audio delete the audio and you can cut down this clip squeeze it a little bit just according to the size and now you will click this video and put it right here and fill the space So you can just adjust all the clips here let's squeeze them a little bit so now we will unlock all those clips we have locked a little bit now it's because it's it has become shorter so it's easy to handle those clips now. can see you can use your mouse keys arrow keys just try to make them equal this is a little longer what we can do is just uh, it's taking a little longer so we will just move on to the next step which is the lining process so that's how and let's see take a look here that's how it's gonna look like so we will do some rendering later on but now uh, the next phase so just right here because we want it here uh, we'll see it here right now I just have to stop it here so uh, let's find and add a video track here and what we're gonna do is the drawing so you you will go to your titles so here we will bring uh, go to the title section and we can uh, you can bring just any title you want so I have brought this title here you can see this one just put it here on the timeline and just and just uh, increase it up to this margin this level, this level. now we will go uh, we will click double click the title and we will go go its uh, advanced section advanced and now here the drawing work begins basically what we have to do is just uh, put some drawing we have to delete all those layers just here here and there so it's nothing left what we want is the drawing section no we don't want this one we want this line so you can see this line you can increase the size up to this much opacity <coughs> color fill and color is a white color you can 
see this much and you can just bring it up to here and drag it to the end there we go same go again second line opacity and uh, increase the to white color and just make it five and drag it to the end just keep it straight don't get it and this we are done this part now Again, go lines and draw another line. Five, this color already came coming white. So you can just put it here. And drag the line here. So, just make it straight. make it very straight all right so or you can uh, no you I think you can't copy just make another line five Let's put it here There we go and click OK. As soon as you click OK, so here are your lines. So that's how the screen is done. So you will do your rendering and then black. So that's how it's like. So guys, this is a view on how multiple screens on one screen. And so use your in this work. So keep enjoying and start making. Okay, you can make your way. Have a good day.